Why me? This your boy Atlantic City. Back with Timothy Kine. Back with interrogation of a predator. Previously on interrogation of a predator. I'm sure I can find a jury somewhere to say, oh yeah, that's, that's the way Tim is. <coughs> okay, Tim, you come up here. You gotta get it, Tim. You gotta get this off your shoulders. If you don't get it off your shoulders, it's, gonna, it's gonna eat you. It's forward. gonna eat you alive. What do you want me to say to you? What do you well, want me you, to say to you? When you came up here, and you no, know, cut the bullshit out of it. I came up here. You come up to, here. I came up here. Go ahead. I want you to cut the bullshit. That's I came. All I'm I came up here to meet somebody. You can't. And now on interrogation of a predator. I came up okay. here to have sex I did not, with a child. No. No, I did not. You absolutely I came up did. here to meet somebody. Hopefully, we had a connection. And you wanted more. That was the week it was planned about. If I found a boyfriend, maybe. But I did not come you up here to find... You found that boyfriend in John. A, I did not find a 13-year-old boyfriend. You did? I did not. No. John. Let's be honest with each other. <clears throat> I you am. Know, you, you know, if you, I can't. Well, he is being honest. That is not what he found. He did not find that. Get you over the hump, or we're going to be over there. I don't know. You keep saying over there. What? The pedophile. He found this asshole. This off camera fuck. The guy that everybody creeps everybody out. The ones that you're, you're worried about. You know, did you make a mistake? And you felt there was a connection. Yeah, I made a mistake. I thought there was a connection. And you come up here to be with John romantically for the weekend and have a weekend to get away from all your troubles, all the things that have been bothering you, being fired from your job, having, huh? you know, with everything going downhill. <clears throat> Timothy was fired. Someone. Please, uh. Tell me, what ended up happening with that? <coughs> I'm doing this video outside. I thought my neighbors deserved a presentation. But yeah, Timothy was fired. Let me know about that if you have the knowledge. I appreciate the knowledge. You had one weekend, one weekend, where all those things could be away. No. That you're saying that no, that's not what I'm looking for. That's not what I was looking then for. What what is it? You're that's saying that saying. I came up here to have sex. You came that's up it. here to have sex. No. You were gonna stay all weekend. You Oh nice of you to finally join us, Kathy. Said I'll come over <clears throat> after work Friday if you want. We'll probably want to spend all weekend with you. If you are going to continue that grooming process no, I mean, right on from the chat room, and you are going to have sex with this boy and give him oral sex over and yeah, over yeah. and over all weekend long. I'm sorry, no. Mm, over and over all weekend long. I like how Kathy did that. I think... I think Kathy may have been more excited about this than Timothy was. Yes, if I was up, came up here to meet somebody, okay. If we liked each other, okay. Okay. If you like. Okay. Liked each other. Okay, okay that's like. fine. Maybe it'll go to a friendship, a boyfriend. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not looking for one night stand. I'm not. You know, that's not what I was looking for. Mmm. But then why would you tell him all this? Not looking for a one night stand. What? I'm looking for one night stand. No. Why would you tell him what you what all these things about a blow job and, and taking shots together? I, why would you tell him? I don't know. It just I don't know. We, okay, he doesn't have an answer for that one. Mister Answer Man doesn't have an answer for this. I'm a little disappointed. Told him you like to give head. I'm gonna need a little more than I don't know. I don't know. We talk. We talk about all kinds of different things. You ask him uh, if he had done that before, mm. and you told him you like to jack off a lot, <coughs> and you said you would give him head if he wanted you to. How often do you jack off? You mm. got me hard now. <coughs> Trust 
Drew's you foot. you got me hard now. That's hilarious. You got me hard now. It's not hilarious in the context that he typed it, but to hear Kathy just read out, you got me hard now, in her accent, and, you know, just a, a female voice saying, you got me hard now. It's, come on. It's, it's, it's Kathy. Not, not every woman can make it funny. I don't, I don't want every woman out here running around saying, you got me hard now. But uh, Kathy, Kathy made it funny. I'm thinking about jacking off. These are your oh! words, not mine. <laughs> no, Kathy just said I'm thinking about jacking off now. That's hilarious to hear that come out of Kathy's mouth. In the, no, that's not what I'm looking for. That's not what I was looking for. What, what is it? You're saying that I came up here to have sex. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying Kathy wants to jack off. Give him head if he wanted you to. How often do you jack off? You got me hard now. Uh, Truthfully, I'm thinking about jacking off. These are your words, not mine. I'm not making these up. These are yours. I wonder what Kathy's up to right now. How old were you? 13 or 14. Oh, so my age. You remember that, I'm sure. Those are all your words. Black and white, right here. Can't deny them. But still, you're saying that I came up here for one reason, one reason only. And that he had to think about it. But still, you're, but still, you're doing this, you're doing that, see? You're doing that, eh? That's not true. To have sex. It's no, not true, that's eh? Not true. With a 13-year-old. That's not true. It's not true, you that's see? That's not the reason I came up here. John, we, we can't help her. Oh. I don't know what else you want me to say. I'm not going to lie to you, and I'm not, you know, that's not what I came up here for. You have you, lied. That's our thumbnail, but I don't want to rewind it because I'm never going to get back to the same spot. For how, over an hour now. You know, I'm... Over an hour, my ass. It's only 47 minutes. Right, right here. Came to nine. But still. But still, you're saying that I came up here for one reason, one reason only. And that is not true. To have sex. No, that's not true. With a 13-year-old. That's not true. That's not the reason I came up here. It's not why he did it, he says. No, you see? Oh. Here it comes. I don't comes. know what else you want to say. I'm hey, not going to lie to you. Well, my thumbnail. I'm not. I guess it's all of our thumbnail. Except for the one I'm chewing on. That's not what well, I you came up here lied. for. You have lied. You you've lied to me for how over an hour now. You know. I, I'm look, he's looking around. Lied. He's looking around. I think he's looking around for a clock. I think he's looking around for a clock. I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. I don't think he's trying to look away. Damn it. I don't know. Uh, I don't think he was looking away per se. I think he was looking for a clock. Like over oh, an hour. God damn! I've been here that long. Two, um, and the only, only, the only, unless we become, well, you come off with me. The only other thing is, I just handed, I was handing this over to somebody and say, hey, this is what he's saying. This is what the evidence says. You make your decision. And they're gonna say that he's a pedophile. Mm. I That's can tell you what they're gonna say. They're what do you want say, me to say? They're gonna say it. That I can't. What do you really want me to say? I want you to tell me the truth. That is the truth. I came up here to meet uh, a guy, okay? And be with him. And be with him, and go from there. Hopefully, find a boyfriend. Watch movies. Get have to know sex. each other. If it maybe have jack sex. Jack off. Give oral. Maybe, but no. not the age. Maybe jack off. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh. Which thing? That's what you were gonna do. Not, I don't. You can't say that's what I was gonna do because I never met. That's the what you person. wanted to do. You never met the person. You wanted that's to do. That's what that. you wanted to do. That's what he wanted to do. I like how they reverted their words. Got to give the props to a little off-camera fuck for that one. My memory is slipping because I'm starting to doubt myself and wonder if maybe it was Kathy. But I like how they reverted their words to. It's what you wanted to do. Yeah, I believe he... 
may have wanted. You know, to jack off over and over and over and over. You know, wasn't it? I don't know. Wasn't until it, I meet, no, That's what you I wanted not, to do. I did you not said it there, in the chat. I did not sit there and fantasize. That's what you wanted to do, Because I did not Tim. know the person. You wanted to have oral sex with him. <sighs> you wanted to masturbate. She's getting close. I think I think Kathy wants to do these things. I did not him. know. I think Kathy does these things. So I could not say you that. You wanted to I mean, have sex. Over the, over the chat. You knew him on the chat. Over the chat. You how, were coming to <clears throat> know more about him, to have oral sex. I was coming to know more about him, to get to know him better. To masturbate. To maybe uh, go see a movie. Because go he watch made movies. you hard. Maybe pull a Pee Wee Herman in the movie theater. Go maybe bowling or something. Yeah, and that's how you groom somebody. Well, I don't know do about that. that. I, oh. I don't know about that. Oh, I think you know a lot no. more than you... I think Timothy's got to check his book. Pretend to know. No. You're 42 years old. Yeah. I'm not 13. Okay. Uh, clearly. I'm not falling for it. That's what I would have said. In that situation, no matter whether I like Kathy or not, I would have said clearly. In that situation, if I was Timothy, I would have told her clearly. I don't know. I, you know... Well, fuck it. You know, I said it now, but I would have said it then, too. That's not what I came up here for, and I'm not going to tell you that's what I came up here for. <clears throat> then I guess we'll just have to pass this off. And yeah. I mean, Tim, I mean... I'm see sorry. what they see I'm not, and they'll Tim. think what they think. And, Is it know, just me or just... I, I think we've given you every chance. Kathy have the chin the size of Texas. Good God. It pokes out as far as her nose. That's a big chin. I never noticed that. God damn, that's a chin. I want that chin. To lay it on the line. And, you know, I, I, you know, I, I've tried every which way. <coughs> I understand. What, I'm looking for a boyfriend? No, I've, I've been trying to I understand. Mean, I, Tim, I've tried to understand everything you've told me. And we went from... Nothing kind of happened to something that will happen. Maybe what could have happened. And then we're at this point. And I've tried to understand. But every moment, every time I talk, every time we question answer, it's like you're stalling. What am I stalling for? I don't know. I, you know? You know. Did he just say, yeah? He's like, you know? And he's like, yeah. Fuck. You know? What are we supposed to know, Tim? You gotta tell us these things, man. God damn, bro. This... NBC again. How y'all doing, NBC? Let's do it. We can't be honest with each other. I have been uh, honest with you. No, I have, yes, I have. I told Tim. you why I came up Tim. here. Tim. That is the reason I came up here. Yeah. I've been straight up with you. Uh. If you want to look like a pedophile, that's fine. Nothing I can do about that. Uh. If... You come up. If you want to look like a pedophile, there's nothing I can do about that. That might be the dopest line any cop has said. Through any of the videos that I've made, the hundreds, the hundred of them, that might be the dopest line to ever come out the mouth of an off-camera fuck up here to be with somebody be with John and you knew the age you knew what was going to happen this weekend you had plans set in sight that's one thing mm. I'm not saying you're, you're a mass guy going out molesting boys and this and I'm not saying that I'm not trying to go there and this whole time I've been with you and Agent Reed has been with you Agent. 
Agent Reed. We're not trying to say he's that. I, you know. Well, you're trying to make I, me admit I, saying that I'm I, that. But, but, you know, yeah, and that's Tim, not. No, Tim, we're trying to get what you, you to be honest with yourself. I honest. I'm, that about is what, what has happened. I, yes, I realize what has happened. <coughs> Tim, Tim. You know, the whole thing was a lie. Oh, no. What thing was a lie? The whole thing was a setup. You're coming here? Huh? You're coming I thought here. that I came here to meet somebody, okay? To get to know somebody. Maybe be friends. Maybe a boyfriend. I did not realize, you know, that it was a child. If I would have found out that, I would have probably maybe watched the movie and left. And you want to stay there a little bit longer. Ah, uh, want to stay there a little bit longer. You would have stayed all weekend. No, I would not have. I don't have any clothes with me to stay all weekend. I don't. You would have cuddled. No. Uh. You would have hung out together. You would have Sorry. gotten to know each other. Not if I would have known that this you kid was 13 years old. You would have had a relationship. You could have had a boyfriend. You could have had a relationship. Not with a thirteen. How are you gonna have? Get, how are you gonna have a relationship with a thirteen-year-old? Maybe you need to answer that question. I, you can't. That's impossible. That's what I'm saying. I, you know, that's so. Not, your intentions were never to have a relationship with this boy. Ah, you have sex. No, Kathy, you just flipped the script on that motherfucker hat, didn't you? But no, I always wonder about this. This is this. It's an interesting thing he says. Like. You can't do nothing with a 13-year-old, you know? You can't. What the fuck are you going to do? You can't have a relationship with someone of that age. I mean, they got school. It's probably soccer practice. You know, it's just... I just don't see the appeal. And I don't see why... I mean, I you know, I don't know if you know this, but... Um, teenage girls, they're... Uh, very fucking annoying. But, uh... We're talking about a 13-year-old boy, not a girl. And at 13, when I was 13, I was the most annoying motherfucker in the world. I annoyed anyone who'd listen. I remember this time, I was outside in this, well, I used to live by this, like, lake thing. It was, like, apartment complex. They had, like, lake. So, I was, like... Young as shit, and this guy, you know, he he was like a he he was like maybe seventeen or some shit. I don't know, but uh, I seen him. He was trying to fish, and uh, I aggravated him. I annoyed the shit out of that man. I don't know why I did it, but I did it. I think about it often. If I'd have just left that man alone, he wouldn't have turned to hard drugs because he did end up turning to hard drugs. And I say that he was 17 because I probably wouldn't have walked up to a 58-year-old man trying to fish and just start annoying him. So, you know. But that all leads me to say, I mean, what kind of relationship can, well, do? What kind of relationship do these guys think they're going to have? Because some of these guys, I, I think they're romantics. Not Tim. Timothy is not a romantic. I don't take Timothy for a romantic. But a lot of these guys, these predators from To Catch a Predator and Hanson vs. Predator, they, you know, I think they would have been down for a relationship. But how? It's like Paul Westwood said. He wants to walk down the beach, you know, holding hands. I mean, what, what, I would like to know what, what kind of actual relationship do these fucking guys think they're going to be able to have with someone that age? It doesn't make no kind of fucking sense to me. I would like to know. I would like to hear them try to make sense of it. I would like for Tim to do that, but Tim is probably not gonna say anything he's gonna stick to his I don't know I don't know and, and his I came here to meet somebody but I didn't come here to do anything with anybody oh fuck I just moved the damn shit oh man why did I do it
all that talk and see if I'd have just shut the fuck up and played this shit, then we wouldn't be in this situation. I'm interested in the age. Let's see where we were. I'm interested in the age. Okay, maybe right there. Maybe a boyfriend. Maybe. You didn't not... come here to have a relationship because I you said you couldn't have one with a 13-year-old. I didn't know he was 13. I swear I thought he was 18. Come on, that I made a mistake. We have run <coughs> around in circles here. Yes. Tim, I did not age, realize that. Tim, age does not matter. Age matters when, to Tim. them. I really wish he'd stop saying that shit. The off-camera fuck. When it goes you down said it to doesn't that. matter. When it goes to that, Tim. yes, it does matter. <laughs> when it goes to that. I'm not interested oh. in the age. I'm interested in the guy. Mmm. Yeah, and that's 13 you years old. Look at Kathy smiling. She thinks she stumped him. But she didn't. She, he's just going to keep on denying it. Kathy got that big old smirk on her face. Ooh, look at me. I got you. I'm reading your words and I'm flipping it back on you. Mm hmm. I got you. Snapping a. Well, she's snapping in her head. She's not doing it because she's got folders in her hand and paperwork. She doesn't want to have to resort that later. You know, by dropping it, trying to, you know, fucking do the, the little snap thing where you wave your arm or whatever but look at that fucking smirk on her face man she thinks she stumped him she thinks she got him she thinks it's over with now and it's far from it we still have an hour of this footage to go that no. you found in john you found somebody you were interested in and you came up here to pee with him to be with him several different ways to pee with him wanted to watch the movies Wants to cuddle, probably to have oral sex, probably to have actual sex. Mm. That was what's gonna happen. I'm not saying it was a free for all. That's what. That's was, not. That was. You what, can't say that's what was gonna happen because I don't know if that's what was. That's gonna happen. what you intended. That's I don't what know. you wanted. That's what you were dreaming about. That's what you were hoping for. I was hoping to meet a friend. You were hoping that maybe this, a boyfriend. You sure. Were, no, you were hoping that this could be a nice weekend, a romantic weekend, with John, alone, <clears throat> nobody around. That's what this weekend was about. That's where the truth lies. This weekend, John, this weekend was Tim, about meeting somebody, Tim, maybe friends, Tim, maybe. That's where the truth lies. Should that be our thumbnail? I don't know. I think it looks a little better than his fucking hands. Now, if you want to meet me there, I'll meet you halfway. I'll meet you halfway. I will meet you halfway. Okay. What are you talking about? Meet me halfway. <coughs> you're, you're just for real, man. Explain that shit. Tell me the same thing. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Maybe it couldn't happen. Maybe it probably wouldn't happen. I don't know. You said. Verbatim, what you want to do when you came up this weekend. That's what you had in mind. That's what was probably was going to happen. I'm not saying that you did anything. I'm not saying you ever had a chance to do anything. I'm not saying that. But that's what you intended for this weekend to be about, was to explore those things that you talked about. You, If you didn't, you wouldn't have said it. And you told me that already. If it wasn't going to be that, you wouldn't have said it. You wouldn't have said it. That's what this weekend was about. The weekend was going to be something special. Something that you could get away with all that. If things. I can meet friends, it, yes. Meet, I mean, if I can meet, meet a friend, friends. maybe relationship, yeah. This was going to be something special. Okay. Yeah, you're right about that. We got ourselves a special thumbnail now. That's our thumbnail. That looks better than his arms crossed. Now he's picking his face, picking on his lip. This is what's going to be a special weekend. This was one of the things that you guys talked about. You were guys going to try them out. <clears throat> That's the truth. That's the reality. Okay. I'm not saying you did any of those things. Tim, I have not once said you did any of those things. Okay. But that's what this weekend was about. That's what we're talking about. And you know... I'm, I'm telling you straight up. I'm telling you the truth. He had to creep on camera for this. That's 
what this weekend was about. I don't know what that's, you know. I don't know until, you know. And I'm not saying to him, Jim, <clears throat> we've been all over this, this issue, this and that. I can read. I know. Yeah. Can you read? This is what it's about. This is what was going to happen. Him. He's got an itchy lip. I know. <coughs> that motherfucker, I, I know. know. And I know. And you know I know. Okay. Kathy over there working on our next on our next plan. She's like, oh I'm gonna get this motherfucker. That 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 smirk didn't work. Huh. She's back to the drawing board over there. She's trying to concoct a plan. And it's not going to work, Kathy. Give up. Tim, this was what the weekend was about, wasn't it? The weekend was about meeting somebody. Tim. I'm sorry. Tim, That's don't. what the weekend Tim, was don't. about. Tim, I am reaching. It wasn't even I the weekend. Re Tim, I am reaching out to you. I'm sure you I'm are. Throwing, I'm, throwing I mean, a I'm throwing you a Well, I'm sure you are, Travis. Rope to help you. <laughs> Help me, how are you helping me? Kathy's ready. Kathy's ready. She's got her witty one-liner. She's got her comeback. She's got her, her gotcha, whatever the fuck you want to call it. She's got it. She's locked. She's ready. She's ready to go. Let's see what she's got. I don't understand. Well, you know what? You're not being honest with me, so I'll treat you like a pedophile. Uh. I don't understand. Just imagine you walk up to somebody and tell them that. Like, they're like, hey... Which gas station did you get gas from? And they're like, oh, I went to the Chevron. I'm like, no, you didn't, motherfucker. You went to the Exxon. If you're going to lie to me, I'm just going to look at you like a pedophile. I'm just going to call you a pedophile if you're not honest with me. If you're not honest with me, I'm just going to call you a pedophile. I'll treat you, you like looking? a pedophile. I'll treat, I'll, I'll treat you. If you're not going to be honest with me, I'll just treat you like a pedophile. You don't give a fuck what gas station you went to, pedophile. You know what? He wasn't honest with me. He, mm. he, I have he, been he, honest he, with he you. yanked me around. What's the fucking difference between being an honest pedophile and a lying pedophile? Because the end result is still not good. Left, I came right, up left, here. Right. I came up here to meet somebody, okay? Friends. Maybe a boyfriend. Okay, go from there. And what do you mean by go from there? A boyfriend. Uh, relationship. Go build a relationship. Go from there. And you're well, gonna you do that. In, relationship. And you're gonna do that in one weekend. I would know if I like somebody by meeting them within, you know, a few hours of getting to know somebody. He doesn't even want to look at Kathy. Yeah. He he knows right, she I'm, he knows she's got something up up her sleeve. I'm, I'm reaching. That you, I, all, I, all I can all I can tell him is he wasn't honest with me. Mm. He wasn't honest with me. What? I don't know and what just, you want he me to tell you. I mean, I, mean I, I let people think what they want to think, and I'm trying. What are you talking about? Like you have some sort of fucking control, you off-camera fuck. Oh, well, if you're just not being honest with me. I'll just let people think that you're a pedophile. I'll just let people think what they want to think about you. They're gonna fucking think what they think about Timothy, anyway. This asshole thinks he has some sort of fucking say, like he's a fucking movie critic or some shit. Like he's a yelper. Oh, oh yeah, don't, don't talk to that guy. Yeah, he's a pedophile. He's a pedophile. These motherfucking people are going to think what they want to think about Timothy. They don't give a fuck about you, off-camera fuck. Nobody does. Not even Kathy. I see the way she disrespects you. You got to man up. Pussy. I'm giving you every last option to be there. But you're, you're giving me no other option as to say, you know, he wasn't honest with me. I know what was going to happen this week. And I, I don't know what was going to happen. I, know I mean, what I don't know what was going to happen. I don't know. You, you, I chatted, mean, with, you chatted with him. I chatted with him. I talked to you, him. We talked about all different We talked about different bowling. We talked about watching movies. We talked about sex. Mm. We talked about school. We talked about work. We talked about life. Okay. And we talked week, about everything. And I mean, this from week, and this one weekend. thing to the other. I think he's upset that all this he typed is now 
sitting in Kathy's lap. And then this weekend was going to be special. What was it? He looked at it. What would it be? I Did I say it was going to be special? I think as, I mean, much, as, I, much, as, you, as much as you talk to him, I think it was going to be special. It was going to be a fun weekend. Mm. I don't know. I, you know, I... We you don't know. Gonna be you know fun. Nobody's going to come there. Oh, gee, I'm going to have a miserable time. I hope <clears> nothing <throat> happens. And that's all the time we have this time. But next time, we'll be taking another look at Timothy Kine on interrogation of a predator. This your boy, Atlantic City. And I'm gone. <laughs>